hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing a get ready with me it's my birthday look and today i will be using the etude house x cacao friends um edition palette and the whole set uh for warm tone okay so um the thing is i'm supposed to be filming with my other camera but the battery but it's dead i forgot to charge it last night so i'm using another camera to film normally i don't use this camera to film these these kind of videos but let's see hopefully it'll work and i'm also using a, a mic if you noticed here so um i hope that the audio would turn out well and i sincerely apologize if there's any audio um, disturbances okay so i think my intro was quite long let's just jump right in all right so i think i don't need to go too much into details for my uh, skincare prep you you already know i'm using the etude house sunjong uh, sika relief toner pads i got some new skincare products that i am dying to show you guys um i've been using them for like maybe one and a half months now but I'm not free to film them, but hopefully I'll be free to um, record them soon. Oh my god, I'm like so worried that this video will not turn out okay because I'm using like a new setup. More importantly, I'm more worried about the audio, but I, don't not, I do not have time to check. Yeah. Today, it's, <laughs> it's finally my birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday and... Um, <laughs> I had my driving lesson in like the early afternoon and then I ate lunch and I came back home and I told which is in a Hokkien dialect it basically means that I died at home <laughs> like I took a nap a very good nap so good that I am late rushing to get my my makeup done but at the same time I'm also quite excited mainly because I have a few new products that I want to show you guys yeah most of the time whenever I do like a review of makeup products I probably would have been using them at least for a few for a period of time because I want to make sure like okay is it suitable for my skin is it okay because what if like I use it for the first time and it's okay but the second time onwards it starts getting worse or you know maybe when I film it on that time at that time it's okay but afterwards I break out and all that so I want to make sure like all these factors are considered so I make sure that I use it for a period of time and guarantee that there's nothing wrong with it it's absolutely stunning and then I'll make a video about it today I packed on a little bit more moisturizer than I usually would because I have I'm using a new foundation which I will show you guys in a bit for my next step I'll be using the beauty of Joson's uh, sunscreen been using this for quite some time I think uh, I did introduce it in my previous Get Ready With Me video and I am still using it regularly. This is the amount of sunscreen that I put. I realized that in my previous Get Ready With Me video, I put so little. So um, yeah, this time I'm putting a bit more. <laughs> but I'm not going to put strips of sunscreen. I think that's still too much for me. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. But that's definitely too much for me, and I prefer comfortness, so, um, yeah. I'm not saying that this is heavy, it, it actually feels just like a moisturizer, it's quite light, but I just don't like putting too much product onto my face, if you know what I mean, right? I'm gonna apply the sunscreen now. Honestly, if you are, if you do not have like really really dry skin, you can actually just skip the cream part, like you can apply a toner, then you can just skip the cream part and you can just move on straight to the, to the sunscreen because it is so moisturizing that it can double up I guess as a light cream but if you are like me and you have really dry skin uh, I think it's advisable and recommended to just not skip that cream step 2022 huh? this year hasn't exactly been the best year I feel like to me because I had to go through some um, personal stuff and then like there were some other troubles and um, yeah but at the same time I feel like even though 2022 is not the best year but it is a year where I managed to grow quite a lot even though I do not like this year 
Um, but I feel like I managed to learn quite a bit of things. You know, I managed to be more independent, stepped into adulthood, all that. So I'm quite thankful for 2022. Just not happy with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying my best to just live in this moment, to just be an embodied queen and do my own thing. Half of the reason why um, I'm, I made 2022 harder for me was because of myself. Like, I tend to give too much hoots about things that should not be cared about. And I overthink a lot. So, it does not help in my situation. Later, I'm actually going to this restaurant called Beauty in the Pot. It's my first time going there. And uh, this restaurant is very expensive. Like, it's a really, really high budget kind of um, restaurant. But they have a promotion going on right now, which is the more ladies you go with, the higher the discount rate. So I'm going with three other ladies, including me, that's like 40% discount. Whew. I heard that the food there is really amazing, so let's see. So the first new product that I'll be showing you guys is the Etude Houses uh, Sebum Soak Pore Primer. Um, if I'm not wrong, this does contain silicone. So if you're not a silicone fan, maybe don't get this. You can you could try other primers, but uh, I use this only on days where like I'm not going out the whole day because I heard that silicone can be quite bad for your skin. So I only use it like if I'm going out for a half day or something, then I would use it. So it's um really effective in helping to blur my pores and helping my makeup foundation my base to last um, longer it basically helps to make it less prone to smudging especially um, on on my masks so when I apply this I, I usually focus it in the t-zone here and here and on my chin they do have another variation which is called which is the exact name but t-zone and it looks like a mascara wand but it's of course with the primer not a mascara yeah uh, i didn't get that i just feel like that's a bit redundant like i can just get this and apply it by myself on the t-zone right it helps makes my skin look a lot less textured you know like my skin right now is okay but i still have like a small little bumps here and there and sometimes when i use foundation it kind of um, emphasizes on these textures so this primer is good in a sense where it helps to make these textures less obvious. Why I put it on the chin is just because, um, you know, like when you eat and you drink, the makeup here sometimes gets smudged off. Alright, so now it's time for foundation and that's my second new product that I, that I want to show you guys. It is the one and only Vanilla Co. Carbolicious Power fit foundation and this is in the shade uh, 23 peanut basically for this foundation they ground the small um, grains of the foundation to even smaller um, particles and that's basically what makes up this liquid foundation so when you apply it on your skin it feels very light it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look cakey as well after i got this i have been using this foundation almost every single time i do my makeup because it's just addictive at this point of time i love it so much you really don't have to use a lot and the coverage it provides is super intense i literally don't have to use a lot and sometimes i don't even have to use my concealer the coverage is really very high so if you're looking for a good coverage foundation this is it it is a semi-matte foundation uh it's not as drying as i thought it would be but still, because it's semi-matte, it definitely would be more drying than uh, a non-matte foundation. So that's the reason why I packed on a little bit more moisturizer today. Because it's semi-matte, so once I put the foundation on, the moisturizer will kind of pick through and it gives a very dewy look. And I like that healthy, dewy look. Yeah. Do like this much normally i would do like three half pumps 
and then I'll work on my way like if I need to use more then I'll pump a bit more still quite a noob with liquid foundation so that this, this is just the way I, I, I do it <laughs> so first I'll use my finger and I'll just kind of put it on my face and blend it out very roughly like that I think this is suitable for like Singapore's hot weather because uh, it doesn't really transfer like it it, it kind of leaves small marks on the mask but when I check like on my face it's not obvious that oh my foundation there's like patches of foundation that's missing yeah so I think it's really good to use in Singapore like a basic oil in our um, humid weather but I think the only thing to take note is that after a few hours the foundation kind of oxidizes to quite a bit darker than the original color but it's no problem for me because the funny thing is when it oxidizes the oxidized color kind of suits my skin tone even more than the original color so uh it's not a problem for me but just uh, wanted to let you guys take note about that and next what i'll be using to blend out my foundation will be Vanilla Co. Chom Chom Castella Puff. This is amazing and uh, it's my first time using a wedge puff. And girl, this is really... I don't think I'll be changing my wedge puffs anytime soon. Let me just show you a new one because my the one that I'm using is really coated with foundation. But basically, what one thing I like about this uh, wedge puff is that there is like two sides to this. So there's a smoother side and there is a side that's just that just looks like a regular... Um, wedge puff it says that the smoother side basically helps to enhance your uh, when blending your foundation it helps to enhance your foundation look and and make the look of the foundation smoother you can just use the other side but i always use the uh, smoother side so this is the one that i'm currently using it's really very soft by the way but but just because it's soft it doesn't mean that it it's not like a good puff to hold it actually blends very well like the edges works very well for like small spot uh, small, small corners like around your eyes or your nose corners it's actually very well okay just just look at this look at how look at how the foundation magically blends seamlessly into my skin you know every time i use this foundation and every time i blend it with this sp uh, sponge puff I am just so amazed. Like, how? How does it just blend so nicely into my skin? Sometimes I, I'm like, oh my god, this looks act this actually looks like my skin. Yeah, so um, I think it's safe to say that I am obsessed with this foundation and the puff. I mean, I think you can use like brushes or other wedge puffs, but I think for me, this is the perfect combination just look at it so you can see that the moisturizer is kind of like shining through right now right so you can see that it's quite dewy smell is also really good it is like sweet perfume smell but it's not too overwhelming to the point that like you know sometimes when it's too sweet you, you kind of feel nausea it's not to the point it's actually quite a rather pleasant sweet smell moving on to my brows and uh, I've decided that I want to try drawing my brows with a pencil. Yeah, I, my whole time, the whole time on my channel, I've been saying it's impossible. It's impossible. So I've been trying with this for like over a month now. <laughs> I think it's possible. I definitely need more practice, but at least I think it's presentable. It's definitely not the best, but I think it's still presentable. So for this, the brow pencil that I'll be using today is Espoir's um, Brow Balance Pencil. This. I've tried a few brow pencils here and there. I think I've tried Etude Houses and uh, Periperas. And this is honestly the best out of the others that I've tried. So this is in the shade Cool Grey. They, it comes with like a spoolie, a brush. And this is it. So obviously it's not as sharp as it was before. This is the colour. Because I've really used it for quite some time. When I'm doing my brows, I really cannot talk. Because I really got to... I'm really like focusing. Uh, I hope today is a good brow day. But basically what I try to do is I try to make my tails look a bit longer. So I extend my tail. And then I'll connect it. So I'll draw a line below. 
okay so um this is my right brow normally my right brow is not so much of a trouble it's more of my left brow <sighs> my left brow is always so hard for me but okay let's just let's just give it a try my brows both of them like they have dif different shapes this one is slightly higher this one is slightly lower this is on me the fault is on me the way i shaped my brows was different so i have to try to make them look the same so for this brow I arc it a bit higher than the l right one. <sighs> okay, now it's more or less, but it's thinner than the, the right one. So I'm going to make it slightly thicker. Today is a good brow day. There are days where they're like bad brow days and... I have to keep fixing like most of my time most of my time is spent on fixing <laughs> my brows but today is a good brow day i'm gonna move on to concealer i'll be using this cleo vegan wear cover concealer i will not go too much into details of this concealer because i'm not sure if by the time this video is released um, whether my cleo vegan wear haul makeup video is out or if it's coming out soon not sure but Either way, I have made a video on it and it's just a matter of time when I release it. So do go and watch it if you're interested in Cleo Vegan Wear um, makeup line. I will not be using too much because, I mean, there's not much to cover anymore after using the Benita Cool Foundation. And I'll be using this Fili Mili 811 brush. So anyway, where I put the concealer was like with my, the lines of my dark circles, uh, eye bags actually. Whether or not I have blemishes on my chin, I like to put a bit of concealer on my chin just because I feel like my entire chin area is slightly darker than the rest of my face. So I just like to use the concealer to highlight that area to brighten it up. I'm going to use my steaming uh, lip mask by Lip Leaf. I think I also introduced this in my previous Get Ready With Me video. But for those who are new to this channel, or for those who don't know, this is a steaming mask. But for your lips. So it's different from a lip balm. I like to apply this um, when I'm getting ready. After you leave it on for a period of time, once you wipe it off, it will remo it'll help remove the dead white cells from on your lips. So when you wipe it off, your lips will be baby but smooth kind of feeling. And it just makes lip application a lot easier and nicer. So you don't look like you have dry as lips. Alright, so we're finally moving on to the highlights, the star of the day. This is the Etude House X Cacao Friends Play Color Eye Palette. And um, the set I got was the Mojito set. So it's for warm tone. Can you see the design is absolutely to die for. It is so cute. Look at that. Uh, it's said to be a light and fresh coral tone suitable for warm tone people and summer weather. It basically consists of two matte colors, this and this, and it has two um, glitters, which is this and this. Look at that. It even has like a mojito on this palette. It is so cute. Okay, I cannot. I'm going to use this fluffy brush and I'm going to use the pink color. It's quite pigmented, I would say that. So um, this is the part where you will see me applying a bit messier than usual because girl, I am late. Birthday girl can't be late for her own birthday party. The brown shade and, and I'll apply it in a C, C motion. So it's like C here. But it's not like, like a smooth C, it's more like a rough C, so it's like da, da, like that. I will use the gold glitter. I, I love the glitter. It gives sun rays kind of vibes, you know. So I'll put it um, on the center of my lid. How can anyone not like this? How? How? It is literally so good, so beautiful. Wow, okay. I'll use this um, white shade here for my Igyo Sao. 
I like this white glitter because it has a very milky shade to it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I'm using this brush. I'm going to use the brown color that you saw just now to do the shadow. Today's ego style is basically not going to be very obvious. This ego style just makes it very natural looking. I'm going to use the gold glitter again. And I'll just put it like on the center of my ego style just to pop in a bit more color. I'm going to use the Etude House X Kyojin Contour Powder. I'm going to use the first shade and I'll connect it down from my brows. Recently, I'm very obsessed with the straight, straight nose look, so I just go straight like that. I'm gonna do my eyeliner now. It has been a while since I did my eyeliner, so please, um, please, I'm hoping I don't mess up this. And, oh yeah, and I'm using the, uh, I'm using my Peri Para Tatum Edition Brown Eyeliner. I have used this almost every single time. Love it. I was considering if I should use the black one, but like, I think I do not want the liner to look so harsh today, so I'm using the brown one. Every time I, I do my liner, I look like a hermit, a hermit you know, like... <laughs> okay, mm, my right one turned out okay, but I don't know about my left one. It's always matching them, I swear. Brows la, liner la, oh my god. Okay. We can do this. Okay, it's definitely a lot shakier. <sighs> Okay, this is it. I think I've lost my touch with my liner. The more I touch it, the worse it becomes. So um, let's just leave it as 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 it is. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just gonna let my liner dry out for a while. So next, I'm gonna do my blush using this uh, Fili Mili 844 brush for my blusher. This color over here, the pink, doubles up as a blusher as well. So I will be using that. So basically here, to here. I just love it when an eyeshadow palette can double up as um, blush or like contour and it makes the whole look more complete because like you're using the colors that you're using are from the same palette. The best thing about this palette is that this color can double up as your highlighter as well. I'll be using this highlighter brush from Etude House and I'll just... Mm, 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 the glow okay and then I'll be putting it on my nose as well and on the center of my nose it's time for me to wipe off my lip leaf my lips are super soft right now do my lashes so I'm using this Shu Umura um, lash curler using the Rare Beauty Mascara. It is super hyped right now. I wouldn't say that it, hold, it holds my curls very well. I don't think so. <laughs> but the volume it gives is pretty good. So I'm willing to forgo, forgive that for not being able to hold my curls. Ta-da! Okay, finally, last step. Moving on to the lips. Using the Mojito Fixing, fixing Tint. It is actually not something what I would use on a regular basis because look at the color, it is very bright. But I decided to step out of my comfort zone and just try something new. But because it's so bright, right, I can't just apply it like straight like that. So I have to apply layer by layer and um, between each layer, I'll blend it out using my finger. So that's exactly what I'll do now. Applying the first layer. The color is also very beautiful, so you can stop whenever you feel like it. And the third layer, which I'll just focus in the inner corner. Ta-da! I think it turns... I think it turned out very pretty, and I'm very happy.
Alright guys, this is the finished look. I am absolutely digging it. Oh my god, and let me just say this foundation is tear resistant as well because I cried so much while putting on my contact lens. But yeah, um, totally digging this look. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations. Um, for the new products that I showed here today in this video. If you want to check out the products that I've used today in this video, you just be sure to check out the description box below. I have linked everything down there and if there's anything you want to say or ask me, feel free to um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video. I'm gonna enjoy my hot pot now. Bye!